picking your next game can be a real struggle. Do you find yourself scrolling through your Steam library for hours? Or maybe spending lots of time on Twitch and YouTube trying to find new trends? Or maybe you've given up and returned to an old favorite. Let's take some pressure off of ourselves and explore this seemingly impossible task together. Did you know that around 10,000 games are released every year? Imagine scrolling through that mountain of options. It's no wonder gamers are feeling overwhelmed by the variety of choices they have. Today, we're diving into a topic that I myself have struggled with a lot. Finding what game to play next. Whether you're a casual gamer or a seasoned pro, we've all been there. Staring at a library full of games, lost in a sea of choices, unable to make a decision. So let's talk about why this is such a common struggle and how we can tackle it. First off, let's talk about the real problem here, choice paralysis. <laughs> With the sheer number of options being released, it's so easy to be bogged down by options. Honestly, there's a lot of reasons why finding a new game is hard. Maybe you want to play with your friends, so you pick up that new co-op game. Or maybe, like me, your favorite game has been shut down. A game you considered home, and you don't know where to go next. Yes, I am talking about you, Gigantic. And it's not just the quantity, it's the quality too. And how quickly trends change. One day, everybody is all hyped for Battle Royale games, and the other day, everyone's hyped for the next cozy simulation game. With so many indie developers popping up, there's a ton of hidden gems out there. But how do you sift through all the noise to find something truly special? With the era of Twitch gaming, reward drops, and new releases, how can we search and find the perfect game? Or will we give up and return to what's comfortable? The game you've played 10 times over, or that old MMO character you just run around with for a few hours. Platforms like Twitch and YouTube are awesome for discovering games, but they also add to the confusion. You can see your favorite streamer playing a game that you want to try, and you might feel pressured to try it just because they're playing it, not because it's your style. I'm super guilty of this. I usually will try a game once or twice and uninstall it if I don't feel an immediate connection. Taking some time to think about why you like certain games will help you narrow down your search, be more selective with the games you find, and the games you put time into. Time is the most valuable resource, so make sure that you spend it enjoying what you're playing or what you're doing. I myself have only half finished a lot of games. I constantly feel like I need to move on to what's popular and keep up with everyone else. So what can we do to solve this problem? Maybe you have a clear preference of game genres. If you like shooters, what do you like about them? Is it the game style, the feel of the mechanics, or do you just consume everything that studio puts out? Is it the story of a game that's most important to you, or is it the mechanics? Next, consider using gaming databases like IGN or Steam where you can filter by genre, reviews, and release dates. Another great tip, follow online communities or forums dedicated to your favorite genres. By engaging with fellow gamers, you can find more personal recommendations that align with your tastes. And don't forget about free trials or demos. A lot of games actually offer just a taste of their gameplay so you can really tell if the game is going to resonate with you or not and not spend the big bucks. I love this because there's too many games I want to try and I get the demo and I'm like, mm, I'm good. <laughs> Saves me a lot of money in the long run and you still get to try out games you're interested in. Also, as a general note, the more games that you like wish list and review on Steam, the better recommendations the algorithm's gonna give you for games that might resonate with you. So highly recommend doing this just to get better options that you might not have discovered otherwise. Remember, it's really all about finding joy in your gaming journey. So experimenting is a key part of that. Maybe you like a wide range of games, and that's why it's so difficult. You want to play what everyone else is playing. I mean, I get that. You want to join in on the conversation. I think that's fine. I do it a lot myself. 
Honestly, the fear of missing out can lead us to try games we're not truly interested in, can lead to more wasted time and frustration. Also, don't feel like you have to play everything. Be kind to yourself. Remember that games are meant to bring joy, not frustration. Well, okay, maybe Dark Souls is, but don't stress yourself too thin. Remember, if it's becoming a chore to keep up, just don't. Honestly, I took years to even finish uh, the Breath of the Wild series. And once I finally got to it, I was able to take my time, see the things I liked, the things I didn't. And to be honest, I'm so glad I didn't rush through it. Finding your next game doesn't have to be a stressful chore. By finding out what your gaming preferences are and utilizing the resources we talked about, you can simplify the process to make discovering new games more enjoyable. Just remember, it's all about what makes you happy in your gaming journey. The trick is that you can go back to playing what's comfortable if it brings you joy. You don't have to play what everybody else is playing. And if you're not enjoying a game, don't finish it. There's no need to, just in order to talk to people about it on the internet or your friends. If you didn't like it, you don't like it. Your time is valuable. And remember, you have the power to come back to the game if you really want to finish it or move on to something new. Not everyone has the same need to finish games they've started. So don't worry, everyone's gaming journey is different. So what about you? What struggles have you faced while trying to pick your next game? I'd love to hear your feedback, your comments, and any struggles you face below. And if you're looking for more games to play or more content like you're used to on this channel, like guides or more reviews of games, Keep an eye out for our next video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Fail Co. out. Back, back, back from the dead.